Um, the only thing I'm gonna do is just a K24 swap. The reason why I'm doing all this is because this bad boy has 220,000 miles on it. Yeah. Um, and all my friends, Armando, Alex, uh, everybody with K swaps or K series cars, they're all making two, 240 plus, and I only made 208, 210, and I was not happy with that. So I uh, decided Jeez. to go ahead and do a K24 swap. 30 horsepower killed you, huh? You were just like. Yeah, I, it was. Uh, that's why I bought the bike is to make up for the fact that my car is not only slow as shit but slower than s shit. So um, uh, I'm I'm just doing the K24 swap for now. Uh, at some point in the future, I might even do um, just a K24 with a K20 head, a K frame build, or I might do a CSS K20 build, a cylinder support system K20 build. Um, but that's going to be way in the future. I just want this for a daily fun driver. Uh, I get all my speed out of the motorcycle. Um, but for now, I just wanted something reliable. It's got like 101,000 miles on it. And I wanted something to actually be reliable and not high mileage, not burning oil. Um, my sister just moved to Texas, and I want to be able to drive that thing down there and back without having to worry about anything going out on it. So uh, for now, we're just doing the K24 so I can get up to the horsepower originally wanted with this motor, so. Hell yeah. Did you guys get Lexus did if he was out. I wasn't out. Gotta make sure, you know, that uh, crankshaft position sensor can read it. Pump for the K24, it's got balancing shafts in it, and we do not want those. That'll cause cut out on oil pressure. And so we went with the Type S oil pump. Reason being is the Type S oil pump is very great about not failing. Um, and I wanted to make sure to have true. 600 RPMs, 9,000 RPMs, regular. But at some point after I get all this done, I'm going to be taking the K20 head and doing a K frame build and putting the K20 head on top of the K24 so I have maximum RPMs. There. Fucking dry out on the bottom. That's a, that's a recovery machine to recover the refrigerant so I can get 
environment. The water neutralizes it. <laughs> That's how you collect refrigerant, man. With a water bottle. I guess that's one way to alleviate the issue.
we putting it? me or don't.
Well, we dropped it on the floor, guys. Oh no. You're a fucking idiot. I gotta get a new pan. Um, <laughs> so you guys are gonna put it in there uh, 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 as a full unit, right? So all one engine and trans. You getting excited? Hmm? So are you excited? I'm emotionally dead. None of this stuff excites me, but yeah. Uh, I'm a dream. I will never financially recover from this. This <laughs> what motherfucker? This is a clean now. It's pressing on camera. It's the little things. All this effort, this is still losing my R6. This guy. All I know is whenever we turn it on, I'm wearing that shirt to stand back, I built this shit myself. <laughs> you that doctor disrespect game. Whenever you put a new engine in, you're, <laughs> you're watching it get dynoed. This doctor disrespect looking over the fucking over the wall. Well, technically, I mean, we we did wash it like right there. That's where we washed it, but self leveling. The self leveling feature. Fucking hell, man! My heart's raw. Ain't going nowhere. Where is it going? Wait for a split second. <laughs> Got no engine. We're gonna push it. Go up, or uh, uh, go up down one. It's already maxed out, the jack maxed out. Oh, bro, just... I know, but normally it's like
Damn boy, what'd you break? Is it gonna fit like a glove? Is it gonna fit? Like something is caught on something. Always caught on something. They're like right on it, over here. Where is that? Yeah. There's a bolt to it. Yeah, one full box. These are the right bolts, I think. 